Hi, in this video we're going to work out this problem. So we have the limit as x approaches infinity of the square root of x squared plus ax minus the square root of x squared plus bx. So to work this out, um, I am thinking we can try to rationalize. So basically we're going to multiply by 1 in a clever way. Watch this. So this is the square root of x squared plus ax plus, you switch the sign, and then you get x squared plus bx. And then this is over the same thing. So this will be the square root of x squared plus ax plus the square root of x squared plus bx. And this is really over 1. And so basically we're multiplying by 1 in a really clever way. And this is why I'm doing it. This is basically the difference of squares formula. I'll use capital letters if you have a minus b times a plus b, that's equal to a squared minus b squared, right? This is equal to a squared minus b squared. Difference of squares formula. So here it'll be a squared, so it'll be x squared plus ax, minus and then b squared, so parentheses, x squared plus bx. Boom, and on the bottom we have this sum, square root x squared plus ax, and then plus square root x squared plus bx. All right, very nice. This is the limit as x approaches infinity. These x squareds cancel. We get ax minus bx. We can actually pull out an x from that. So it'll be x a minus b over, and then we have the stuff on the bottom still, x squared plus ax plus, and then here we have x squared plus bx. So we can continue to show work, or I think at this point, um, we can probably try to write the limit down. Um, let's, let's continue to show some work. I mean, you can, you can reach a point where you can say, you know, by intuition, this is the answer. And I kind of feel like we're at that point already. Um, so let me just show you two ways to do it from here on out. So one way to do it is to just write the answer down here. So basically what's happening here is you have an X and an A minus B up top, right? So this is approximately equal to x, a minus b. And on the bottom here, um, this ax and this bx, they don't really matter. What only matters is the bigger terms here. So basically you have the square root of x squared and the square root of x squared. And x is approaching infinity. So the square root of x squared is equal to the absolute value of x. But when x is positive, this is x. So basically if you ignore these, okay, and you just get square root of x squared plus square root of x squared, so basically you get x plus x, so you get 2x. So this is going to be a minus b over 2. And that's the answer. Um, if you don't like that, um, you can show the work. So to show the work, what we'll do is we'll divide by the square root of x squared, which is equal to the absolute value of x, which is x, because x is positive, because x is approaching infinity. If x was approaching negative infinity, this would be a negative x. So what we're going to do now is we're going to divide everything by the square root of x squared. So watch this. This is the limit. I'm going to try to show a little bit more work here to make it more clear. So I'm going to show the work in steps. I'm going to take the time to show you an extra step here. I was going to skip some steps, but I won't do that. Basically, we're going to multiply by 1 in a clever way. So we're going to multiply by 1 over the square root of x squared, but I'm going to write x here. And over here, I'm going to write 1 over square root of x squared, which is the same thing as x, but I chose to write that one here because now I'm going to distribute it. Watch this. Boom, boom. This cancels. So this is the limit as x approaches infinity. These x's will cancel, and so you'll get a minus b. Down here, distributing this, we're going to get square root of x squared plus ax. I'll show you an extra step as well. Plus square root of x squared plus bx square root of x squared. That's a 2. It's an ugly 2. <laughs> so this is the limit as x approaches infinity. Okay, And it's going to be a minus b. Down in here, uh, we're going to combine these. Okay, I'll show some extra steps. x squared plus ax over x squared plus x squared plus bx over x squared. So this is the limit as x approaches infinity. 
So now we have a minus b. So x squared over x squared is 1. ax over x squared is a over x plus 1 plus b over x. Same thing, right? bx over x squared, the x's cancel. So a lot more work. You know, if you don't, if you don't do the intuition stuff and you want to show all your work, now it's a lot more obvious, right? It's way more obvious now because this approach is 0, this approach is 0, so this is equal to, drop the limit sign, it'll be a minus b over square root of 1 plus 0 plus square root of 1 plus 0, a minus b, square root of 1 is 1, square root of 1 is 1, so you get 1 plus 1, so you get a minus b over 2, which we knew already using our super powerful intuition a few minutes ago. So this is a good strategy though, um, whenever you have square roots like this, you, you use this maneuver here. Um, if x was approaching negative infinity, you would have a negative here in front of the x. And the reason being is that um, the square root of x squared is the absolute value of x, which is negative x if uh, x is negative, right? It's going to be minus x if x is approaching negative infinity. So, yeah, I just thought I would do some random problem, uh, kind of a cool, cool problem. Good luck.